practice in this we are going to see how to iterate an associative array using for each constraint so the for each constraint there are two types of for each constraint we'll see one by one here this is an uh, associative array which has the name addresses and the values are given here which are two e my we have given as a associative array so r you can use as a numerical array numerical array also you can access using the for each now let us say we have uh, two values assigned to this now we are using the for each so for each can be used like this for each without any space so this is the keyword then you give the name of the array as the first argument then you give as then you give and give some variable so here as dollar value so if we have given the variable name as dollar value so what it will do it will take the address that is this array value now start iterating this uh, array okay then here what we have given inside that what we have in the first value it will take in this dollar value now echo processing dollar value so now it prints that value this value which is assigned in this first value assigned in this is printed here then again automatically it move to the next it takes the next value and substitute it here which will be printed using the echo statement likewise it will print so this can be used for numerical array actually this is a numerical array only because we don't have an here we are not as in key and value per pair it is only a single value also so this will be considered as a numerical array the same you can use for a if you are going to use the for each for a associative array you can do it like this see here person is an associative array where we have given the values like this this is the key name is the key and value assigned to is red and so on now we are using the for each how you will you can use for each for an associative array is like this first as 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 here we have the array name here also we have the array name the next is here we use only as dollar value because we have only the values but here we have to take the key also so uh, it slightly changes what we have to do is dollar key to give the same syntax like this and then dollar value so what it will do when it iterate the first it takes this name under this dollar key and this red under this dollar value now you print this red name is red that's what here it will print so for the next one the next iteration you take this value as key and 35 as this value so age is 35 red age is 35 like this and so on why it is you know like this it will print so the next next uh, value automatically it takes that's the uh, advantage of for each how we will you we have seen while in the previous video we have seen while list and each combined together to print the values in the associative array